number one. Today I'm going to talk about mitosis and meiosis. Well, first I'm talking about the cell cycle. What is a cell cycle? The cell cycle is like a cell life cycle. And they can divide into two parts. The first part is the interface. The next part is a mitosis. What is an interface? Well, most of the cell cycle is spent in an interface. And it can divide into three stages. The first stage is called the first growth phase. It can say into G1. The next is a synthesis phase, which you can say is X. The last phase is the second growth phase. That is G2. And now we see in uh, G1, you can see the cell is growing. And they have a double size and a double number of opponents. And the chromosome haven't formed, you can only see the protein that says uh, number 3. Now we see this number 1 is uh, DNA. Number 2 is looks like that. This, the small box is the protein. Wrapped and form the chromosome. And the red dot is a centromere. What is the ast stage? Ast stage. Oh no, ast phase. Well, you can say ast. Well, the DNA is replicated and the chromosome becomes two sister chromatids. And the centrals, the central cell, just um, they, they duplicate it and they move to the opposite side. What is the G2? Well, the, when the G2, they make a lot of protein because time for the cell division. And the cell is ready to enter meiosis. The shape of chromosome. Well, in G1, you can only look at number 3, like the chromatin. And when it's at stage, it's a little bit condensed. Like, look like, but that is not a chromosome. It's not really look like chromosome. This looks like a, a little bit condensed, not totally. And the red is a dot, is a central mirror, talked about before. And we know that the um, cell division can divide into two. And can, there are two kinds of cell division. The first one is mitosis. The other is a meiosis. I'm talking about meiosis later. What is mitosis? Well, mitosis is for making your body cells. Meiosis is for making gametes. And mitosis can divide into four phases. The first phase is the prophase, and then the metaphase, and the phase, and the last one is the telophase. What is the prophase? So when it is a prophase, the chromatin is the like, condensed and gradually for the chromosome. And the nuclei will start to disappear, but not totally. The spindle fiber also form an attach to the chromosome to help them move. But they didn't move to the center yet. The chromosome haven't lined up and moved to the center yet. Okay, wait a second. Okay. What's a metaphase? Metaphase is the longest phase. It's about 20 minutes. The nuclear envelope totally disappear and the chromosome line up in the center of the cell, a homologous chromosome lying in a row, one on the top of the next. Well, what does that mean? The one on the top of the next, that's, uh, we can see this picture. The red and the blue are homologous chromosome. So they, uh, they just, they are, they are homologous chromosome. That means that they are homologous, so they one on the top of that. So there's a pattern. Red, blue, red, blue, they just uh, line up like that. What's that anaphase? The uh, anaphase is that the two sister chromatids they separate to, uh, gradually and become a two identical cell gradually. That's good. The telephase is that the spindle fiber disappeared. The nuclear envelope formed, but the okay and the cell division complete. Okay. What difference is between animal cell and plant cells? Mitosis. Okay, animal cell have a certain tree. Oh no, animal yes, animal have a central cell. Oh, and um, and they also have a no, animal have a central and a central cell, and a plant only have a central cell but don't have a central. Most plant cells during the mitosis, animal cell membrane can contract and divide into two cells, but animal plant 
and so I have a cell wall they can and call it crap. Instead, they make a cell plate and become a new cell cell wall. Now we can see like that. What is my oath? My oath is making gamut and the chromosome. Okay, it only has half because one from a gap, one from a mole, and then it just becomes a zygote. A zygote, okay? And what is diploid and haploid? What is diploid? Diploid, that means they have two sets of chromosomes. Now we can see that. They're homologous chromosomes. The red one and the red are homologous chromosomes. So is the purple one and the yellow one are homologous chromosome. So we can say it's called 2N, 2 set. And what's a haploid? Haploid they will have one set. Like that, there's like a gamut. Now I can say 1N. Now we see the 2 one looks like that and 1 one looks like that. It's easy to recognize. Homologous chromosome and sister chromatid. Homologous chromosome because it's different. The 2 of it can say it's 2N because that we can say it's two set because the, the homologous chromosome are both of the chrom the chromosomes are different. One for your dad, one for your mom. Your dad and your mom's genes are different. And the sister chromatid, now you can only say so, but there oh okay, the homologous chromosome have two copies. Now it says two C. Two and two C. But sister chromatid that is the same. Both the chromosomes we, we can see this chromosome, but this the same chromosome. They just make another copy, so we can only say it's one and one set, but they have two copies. What? Well, my uh, there's my oldest one and my oldest two. Well, my oldest one, okay, yeah, so my oldest one has four phases, just like a mitosis. The first is the prophase, this is the same, then prophase one, a chromosome comes down. And the nuclear apple start to disappear, the spindle from and attach to the chromosome, the homologous chromosome line up together but haven't moved to the center set. But there's a very big big difference that they have a crossing over. That means that a homologous chromosome touch each other, exchange their DNA, like it looks like that. So otherwise maybe your if there's no crossing over in the world, that means that your Father's DNA is like your father's father and your father's mother's, and your mother is your mother's mother's DNA and your mother's father's DNA. Your mother, it's called okay. And then maybe you get one the from your father's father, one from your the mother's mother. Then you will look like your father's father and your mother's mother's kid child. It's very very ridiculous. And what is um okay meiosis? Oh, there and then what next is a meiosis one again and a still my in the meiosis one the middle phase one middle phase one is the the homologous line up in a pair in the center. Well, it's what different because the mitosis is one on the top and the my is still homologous and line up in pairs. That means the in the mitosis they left like up and down, while the meiosis they are in left and right like that. Okay, and the homolog okay and the homolog and this different because it's the homologous chromosome separate. The mitosis is the sister chromosome. Separate, so it's different. And the uh, telophase is that yeah, so the spindle fiber disappear, but the nuclear apple doesn't form because they are no, they have to divide again. Okay, and now we see this. The meiosis two is almost same as mitosis. First, the chromosome contents, the chromosome line up next, but the top one on the top, like that, is the same as mitosis. And the end phase is the end phase 2, okay? The sister chromosome separate and the nuclear form and become four gametes, but there's gametes, not new cells, and nothing.